Hello everyone, welcome to a new like what tutorial. This is GF and today we'll take a look at how to adjust the RPM limits on your Nazare, Nazare Lone Star or JAWS. To do this setting update, uh, sadly, unlike the other last update we have to do with the settings, for this one we need to open up the enclosure. So actually the first step I do always recommend is make sure that these motors and wheels can spin up freely. So I have this little jig that I use, usually use, just putting it under the deck. So right now my wheels are not gonna hurt anything if they are to spin. So, and to open up the enclosure, we need the M4 screwdriver, M4X screwdriver. You can also use an electric one. Uh, on this enclosure, it's pretty much easier than the prototypo. So you can easily use an electric. This is probably what I'm gonna use. So we just have to start. Usually I like to start by the front and make my way down the bottom, down the back. So as you can see, I also have disconnect all the lights. There we are. the screw are all removed we need to flip the enclosure to flip the enclosure I don't suggest just to take one side you have to take it kind of a, a little place on this side make sure you uh, you can handle it well and we're just gonna lift up to 90 degrees and flip it on his back as you can see the cable here are pro probably gonna be a bit tight you also maybe like one of these grommet here might get out so just be careful if the groom had get out you just push it back at the end so now we have exposed the fog box you can spot the ear we have like the USB-C this is where we are gonna connect the computer so we can plug the USB inside of it plug it inside the computer okay now that we have the USB connect to the computer we can power up the board we should hear the little sound of Windows connecting the device. Now we can go and open the Fogbox tool firmware. Fogbox tool is a bit different than Fogbox UI. It offers more possibility as what you can do with the board. But for today, it's pretty simple what we want to do. So the first thing we have to do is connect. As you can see now, it's telling me that my firmware is a bit old. This is 23.44. It should work fine for the setting we have to change with the newest version of the tool. So don't really worry about this. We can just click OK and we'll be fine. So now we have to do a uh, read motor configuration right here at the, at the right. And we have to do the same thing with read app configuration. So now we have to go in general and we have to select RPM here. And we'll put the, limit, the max ERPM at 22,000. 20, 22, 2, 0, 0, 0. So here we are. We have the 22,000. And what we are doing after is just going to write motor configuration. And then we have to go and change in the PPM setting. And we have to activate the traction control here. Put it at true. And again, we're just going to go with the right motor configuration and once the motor configuration is writing is right down we can go and just make sure that the settings are good so we're going to the real-time data and we're just going to activate the real-time data at the right here so as you can see it's blue and now using the remote you can go and go full throttle and as you can see here the ERPM is stopping at around 22,000. Uh, it should give you around 24 kilometers, no problem. So this is much it for the for this. So now we can just go and disconnect, close the program, and unplug the USB, close the board, and we'll be ready to close up the enclosure. Okay, now to close the enclosure, it's pretty much the same as we have done for opening up. So, 
We just have to put it at 90 degrees. We want to make to hold the enclosure quite well. And we're putting it, put it down like this, making sure the holder align. And to put the screw back in place, if you want to use an electric tool like this one, I suggest to put the lowest one of the lowest torque you can and screw back the screw in place, do all the screw and then come back with a manual X tool and tighten them, tighten them s slowly like this and doing them one by round all around the enclosure. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you have any question, don't feel free to ask. It will be a pleasure to answer you guys. Have a nice day.